So for instance, uh, oil lamp over there, right? Good idea. Why, yes. Yes, I can. Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today checking out the full release of Weird West. And oh, it's going to be quite a weird one, let me tell you. This right here is a dark fantasy take, and I do stress dark, as you'll soon see. On the Wild West, I'm talking creatures of very, very fantastical nature, some very dark plot points as well. Overall, this basically rolls as an immersive sim RPG in a sandbox world, a bunch of stories to unlock that are kind of interwoven into each other. The more progress you make, the more things you unlock that'll basically give you more freedom on everything you shall be doing. So, let's check it out. Let me guess, friend. No idea who or where you are, Ryan. Sorry about that. Unnecessary part. Ryan's ready. Then it's time. Off you go. We're counting on you. And thus we've been branded. And this is giving us, I believe, like a bit of a hint of uh, all the characters we'll be able to unlock as we go along here. Used to be you were one of the most feared bounty hunters in all the West. But you gave that up. Buried your irons. Traded them for a normal life. Tonight, though, that's all gonna change. Destiny's calling. And it ain't taking no for an answer. You ain't taking our land, monster. Not after land. Take the adult. Kill the kid. No meat on the bones. Now let's move. Lyle's are coming. In the air. Smell of gunpowder. Your son dead in the dirt outside. And I'm burning at your neck. Like you've been branded with a cattle iron. Okay. So, um... <laughs> great way to start the game, right? Husband kidnapped to be eaten, yes, there were cannibals, and our son is uh, laying over there, shot dead. Wow. So, um, like any other RPG, there's things to collect, things to sell off, etc, etc. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time over here, like, looking around too much, just because I want to show you guys more of the gameplay. But again, you could definitely treat this like an immersive RPG, collect your things and all that stuff, but... For the purpose of showing you more of the game, let's, uh, proceed onwards. Jane! Her gunshots from town came running. It was so still wild as... Let's take him. Looks like they hit every farm from here on out to Gowns Crossing. They... They killed your boy. We'll bury the bastards for what they done. But I ain't seen your husband Alonso. If they took him, we gotta move quick before the trail runs cold. Jane Bell, that is us. Um... Which way are they headed? I ain't see where they went, but I got one of them Stillwater bastards alive in the... Grackle Jail. Grack? Yeah, it's Grackle. We can squeeze the dog for answers. Better grab your shooting irons, partner. Got a feeling we'll need him. Where's my gun? What, you forget? We buried your old revolver out back in the rest of your gear when you retired. Once you're healed, meet back in the jail. Look, I know you thought you was done with those bounty hunting days, but they ain't done with you. Who are the Stillwaters? Call themselves a family, huh? Inbreds, maybe. They run ammunition, liquor. At least they used to. Now they seem to be in the business of taking people. Something's different. And I aim to find out why. Take this portable relay. Newfangled, good for communication. So again, we have like literal weird like technology that you normally wouldn't think existed in the, um, you know, Wild West era. But we are dealing with a dark fantasy look of the Wild West. So yeah, we do have a relay device to contact individuals from long places. What about it? So, objective tracking, yada yada yada, let's just get you off the screen here. Uh, chicken egg, I will pick these up. We can actually use those to cook, heal HP on the fly. Um, we will be able to, you know, find some camping areas to do such a thing. So here's our doggo, and here's our son. I will take our son's teddy bear as a reminder. We're not gonna sell that, we're not scumbags. I actually feel bad about taking the meat from our dog. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that one. That one is bad. Uh, the bone? It actually be used as a melee weapon, so we'll take that one for sure. 
We must find a shovel in order to unlock our equipment. Let's indeed find a shovel. There's one right there, although I believe if we grab the shed key. I'm curious if this is like, you know, um, random. Yeah, there's one in here as well. So multiple ways to actually acquire certain items you'll need for quests, so I do like that quite a bit. Let's dig out. And there it is. The pistol's grip matches your palm exactly. All blue. Been a while. I like how we had our apparently our clothes from our bounty hunting days over there <laughs> dug in there as well. It's like well, why can't you just hang that up in a closet somewhere, you know? Alright. So we're good here. We could take a little test run here just in case, and let's do so. Now, one thing I would like to do before we actually head out is you can see it's not part of our objective, but you know, I can't just leave my son's corpse here, right? We are indeed going to. So, on the way, when we're traveling from area to area, it's going to be like, you know, chance encounters of random events, good ones, bad ones, etc., etc. Um, there's going to be a time system in the game as well, as you can see down here. Traveling is going to take us three hours to get to Grackle. Um, which is very important because a lot of the quests are time-based as well. We got a coyote attack here, so we got our first bit of um, actual combat. Coyotes! How's it going, buddy? Bladum? Got a couple more coming from here as well. Got him good. And you know, even though I'd probably feel more comfortable with a uh, mouse in Keeper. Not too bad, I would say, at least with the gamepad. It lets you kind of properly aim down the sights and everything, so it's kind of good. I think you could also kind of like, you know, choose with the stick how far the reach is going to be. Maybe for crits and whatnot. That's intriguing. Uh, let's see. Coyotes, uh, we could grab some meat here, as I've mentioned. We can cook on those fires up there. And we could also, if we're hurt, on the fly, random maps, we could pierce things as cactus and drink from them for a quick little heal. There's different, different ways to heal in this game. I'll definitely pick this knife up as well. Mm, might equip it pretty soon. Pistol slugs will take those. Very useful. Anything in the suitcase? A bit more food. And over here, as I mentioned, if we were had some damage, you could cook on the fly. It does heal you instantly. You can't cook it and store it. It's basically just on the fly heals. Panic in the air. Folks hollering. Death and dirt. Hand of beans on this, dude. Well, I mean, if you don't mind, I will be pillaging some of these bodies, unfortunately. But it does seem that the Stillwaters ran through this town as well. Heather Lopez. Dollar coin. <laughs> don't worry, that one was fine. Be careful, not all items can be picked. Um, it'll let you know if it's like an item that's going to get you in trouble. But yeah, you do have the option of being a scumbag yourself and just stealing whatever you want. Of course, apparently you will become quite wanted about it, but, you know, that's the way you want to roll. The game doesn't tell you, hey, you got to be a good guy. You could be a scumbag as well. Floods, got to say, it's good to see you wearing them irons again. Farming life never did suit you. Now, let's give the still water bastard a squeeze. You tell us what we want to know, we'll only break a few fingers, leave you enough to scratch your ass with. Y'all used to run ammunition, not abduct people. What's different? Kiss my ass, law hound. I tell you, cuz. See, thing is, when your voice shakes like that, I don't find you convincing. You find a convincing partner? Why don't you turn the screw on this asshole? We could ask nicely for information. We could threaten to give him an angry townsfolk outside people. Hand them over. Or we could just break his pinky. Oh, was, this, was I giving you guys? No, no, I wasn't giving you guys the option. I think we all want to break this pinky, don't we? I think we do. Oh, you crazy bitch. I can't tell you nothing. He, he'll kill me. Hmm, okay. Well, now we could ask nicely for information. We could again threaten up. Let's just break another finger. All right, all right. Oh, the new boss, it's Shelby. Shelby Cross. Shelby Cross? Floods Almighty. He ain't no man, he's a siren. They ain't normal, they eat people. I've been trying to track down Cross for years. Now we're close, I can smell the cannibal bastard. Yeah. As I mentioned, fantastical creatures. Uh, siren is indeed one of them. Where'd Cr Cross run off to, huh? Where'd he take Jane's husband? Get harvested, dog. Ah, you... Now you can't shoot, buddy. Look what you've done. All right. Oh, I'll tell you. Oh, the meeting at Gap. 
Five hours northwest towards Offerton Valley. Yep, take you. Trails hard, no time to lose. I'll haul on that relay if I learn anything useful. Now, you're probably noticing that um, time is changing in terms of, like, you know, nighttime. Actually, very good. Especially if you want to take the stealthy approach. Makes it a lot harder to be spotted. You got a boy here. As I mentioned, stealth's a very big part of this because you're going to be dealing with a number of enemies at a time. So you might want to make it easy for yourself. Knock this guy unconscious if we can. And the old choke. Stillwater dudes are really big fans of wearing these uh, creepy ass masks too. Guess we'll leave that over here. But anything on you? Yes. Now, this might be familiar, like, at least to me, it just instantly made me remind of, um, you know, Fallout with your scrap weapons to, like, you know, basically make your, at least, um, restore the durability of your old weapon. So you can scrap this here in case you want to hold on to them and sell them for money, inventory space, stuff like that. But you can also scrap them for bullets as well. So it's up to you how you want to handle, like, the extra load. Now over here, kind of spotted me a little bit there, but that's fine. It's all good. I'm in the bushes. You don't even worry about the bushes. What I am noticing there, though, is going to be a rifle for us, which I'm happy about. So let's go ahead and give you the old choke here. Let's not alarm anybody. Now definitely take them rifle rounds. Okay. Got ourselves a bit of a long-range weapon here. And now we can quickly switch in the fly. Perfect. Now, if I had a bit more longer range, I think we'd go rifle with this one. But since we're kind of close by, they'll probably rush me after the first shot, so I'm thinking instead we just go handgun. Thumbs down. Don't toss the dynamite! Okay. Could have been gone better, but it is what it is. Bolt action, Forester. Let's see. I mean, I guess we'll pick it up and we'll see if it's better in the rifle we picked up earlier. And where's the first dude that we took out? Right over here. And we might as well use some of this um, healing on the fly. Pick the mags. And get some steak. Perfect. So I believe the environment could also be used in our favor. So for instance, uh, oil lamp over there, right? Good idea. Why, yes. Yes, I can. Always on fire. All on fire. You're still on fire. One more to go. <laughs> that one worked out a lot better. Ooh, okay. So, see, now we have something that's going to be good for melee. Maybe the old machete. Pocket watch of 24. Yeah, we'll take that. Junk general store. Yeah, we can sell that off in the pond. Or that elixir place earlier. And we got ourselves a shotgun. Let's go. Now here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna pop that barrel over there and explode that boy like so. And as they're checking it out, we got some nice little unaware shots. Like I literally survive with one HP. Get out of here. Come at me, boys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm liking this rifle a lot more. Glad we decided to keep it over the um, short range one. I do like how the um, vultures come down and start preying on the leftovers after you know what I just kind of noticed there right now. Fire's lockpick. We don't have any lockpicks so far. It's on me for probably not exploring as well as I mentioned I should probably be in this type of game, but... Um, no, I don't want to shoot the dynamite. Although I wonder if... Um, oh, is that a lockpick? Say, I wonder if I can shoot the dynamite and it'll basically break the chest open without hopefully not destroying what's in there. But you know what? Let's play it safe. Hey. Although protection is lower than the one we got, but it gives you better lightning resistance. So if we're dealing with somebody with lightning attacks, I guess we could probably keep that one and switch on the fly. Okay, we got a couple more boys over here. Next to a barrel, which I love to see. Love to see the barrel. Unfortunately, more than one. Now check this out. Let's go into uh, Tu Wang Fu mode, as I like to call it. Oh yeah, baby, we got that Matrix slow style. Shoot 'em up, bang bang. That's a little um, special meter on the side that you've probably been noticing for a while that I've been used. I always forget that I have like special abilities in these type of games. Doctor Long's anti-venom poison status. 
Sounds pretty good. Something don't feel right. Hairs on your neck wake up. Danger's close. That's good. That's what you want to hear. Coyote! Tell me there's... Oh. Tell me there's ammo on you. I need some ammo. Dynamite, I guess that'll do... Ooh, a gold nugget. Upgrading weapons and smelting ingots. Pickaxe? Okay. I guess we gotta find ourselves a pickaxe so we could actually use some mining down the line. Ah, oh, the passenger you came. So it worked, after all. This body suits you. You're on the hunt, I understand. Tracks to find your missing sweetheart? I can show you where they are. Don't let the trail get cold. I don't want to suffer through this any longer than I have to. Ask why she's calling you the passenger. Oh, yeah, what is this, Dexter? Very nice. I like how everything you gave me was basically a roundabout answer. Well, appreciate your help. I guess I'm going to follow these footsteps and get the... Stillwater camp and hopefully find my husband. That girl. Something mighty off about her. A look in her eye, dead as river stone. Well, at least she pointed you in the right direction. Beggars can't be choosers. You relied on your quota, Stillwater. Fuck off, Siren. We damn near abducted half of the grackle for y'all. Don't talk to him like that, idiot. You have an issue with our arrangement? Yeah, I do. We ain't y'all servants. We're the Stillwaters, damn it. For as I concern you and that Shelby, oh, that went too fast. You know, Stillwater, all this backtalk you've gotten excited my appetite. Ooh. You there, you have any issue with our arrangement? <laughs> this dude went full siren. No, 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 not at all. Next shipment. That's creepy. <laughs> that is freaking creepy. They're slithering now? I need a whiskey. Two more like it. This dude just slithered away into the freaking here. stream. Sirens have been feeding. Let's hope your husband wasn't on the menu. Yeah, no kidding. Let me scrap some ammo here first. Scrap what we had. Let's see about getting in this place here. Huh. Apparently a wild animal? There is. And maybe a nice little play shot like so will be enough. Did make some noise. Luckily, nobody heard. Nobody heard? No, good. Is that that perp? Oh, it's a perp. Perfect. So we should be able to get that um upgrade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this one? High noon. Your next trigger pull automatically fire a single shot at every target within sight? Ooh, sounds actually very good too. Especially in a crowded situation like this, especially the couple in this town right now, with all these, um, dudes. You know what? Yeah, let's actually pick that up. How do I use this? Uh, it seems to be- <gasps> Oh, you rolled up on me. I was too busy trying to figure out which one was the right one. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. And here we go. What a few. You been a tree or something. Luckily, we do got range, so there is that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's go, baby. Oh, barely you're running in fear now, are you? Reload. Now you go ahead and get some backup. Go, on, go for it. Oh, you know what? Gain a vendetta. You killed her gang leader. Oh, well, that's good. What does that mean? You've made an enemy. There's plenty of ways to earn a vendetta against you. Killing folks' as family, going after a gang, or letting a bounty target get away. But only way it ends, keep your eyes open for an ambush down the road. Really? Okay. So the, the funny thing about this is that I took the, you know, hand-on approach. But there's multiple ways to actually kind of go about levels. As you can see how this is over here situated. In case you wanted to avoid everything. There's a couple of enemies still out there, by the way. But in case you wanted to avoid everything, 
and sneak around, you could have actually done that. Attaching a rope down the chimney. And this would actually get you into the Greenwood um thing that you have to get to. And then I believe the cellar is right here. But you know me. I'm more of the, um, let's face it, head-on type of approach type of individual. So, but the game gives you, as I've mentioned, different ways to kind of go about things there. Who's this dude? Here to finish you off? I mean... Are you not part of the screw or what? You see now the same, uh, mass that they're all rocking? Reinforced door. Dean Stillwater. Crazy bastard out at Bill Farm. Shot me with my own gun. I can't stop the bleeding. <sighs> I'm just hired muscle. Siren shit's too much. Stillwater's left me down here to rot and get fed on. Got to. Gotta get out of here. Need a mess of bandages. Help me out. I, I, I got some rarities I could give you. Who's the man at Bell Farm? That Shelby Garrett who took a real shine to him. Said the prettier, pr prettier they are, the better they taste. Hope he bites a uh, Shelby Specker off. <laughs> well, I guess I got bandies. I'll hook him up, sure. Thank you kindly. Now, deal's deal. Let me see your map. There. Hit some rare items on one of them graves you might like. It was the grave of someone named Albert. Hope I can get back out here before that siren gets back. All right. Thought I was gone on the ebb tide today, stranger. Hope I can return to favor someday. Yeah, no problem. Friend for life. You heal his wounds. Oh, is this like the opposite of the vendetta? Friends for life. Helping folks in the weird west might earn you friends for life. Friends for life can occasionally intervene in desperate com combat situations and save you from imminent obliteration. Really? Alright, well, we've done two good things. I mean, well... We've offset the bad thing, right? We we made apparently an enemy for life, but we also made a friend for life, right? So there is that. It offsets, right? To cancel each other out. Reinforce doors. We could lockpick them or we could blow them up. Well, I mean, I got a... Uh, oh, I got the key still. Yo, boy, let's go. Easy. Um, what you boys got though, over there? Oh. Oh, that goes a lot better than the explosion barrel that we normally do. Oh, toasted everybody. Any uh, lockpicks in your bodies, by the way? I'm looking to let out maybe a dude, maybe a corpse. Who knows? Uh, let's not drench your bodies with oil this time. About it, huh? Greater foes. Think you're outclass your enemies for good? Think again. Most foes you've encountered in the Weird West have been... Have more formal variations, which you can identify as the insignia that appears near the names when you aim at them. Well, I've gone way over time with this one already, so I'm gonna start wrapping it up. This will be the last thing that we do. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. All the information for Weird West will be down below. Could I actually get to this person before? No. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yes. All the information for Weird West will be down below in the description in case you wanna pick this up. <laughs> I just saw my chance and I was like, we gotta go for it. Chance is right there. I'm trying to offset the brutish nature so far in my gameplay with a little bit of stealth here to kind of switch it up a bit. Uh, drop this body here if we can. Hopefully the person up there hasn't spotted it. And how about we sign off with a good old double barrel shotgun approach, huh? Let's go. Gotta reload. Now that right there was indeed a leader. What was your name? Ryan Silva. Interesting. <laughs> I'll take that. Perfect. Hey, this see, I can I can play stealthy as well. I don't necessarily have to just rush into danger all the time. See, that was stealthy approach for sure. Either way, by the time, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.